Hello, I'm Mike Pence from Indiana. In the worst economy in a quarter of a century, American families are hurting. That's obvious to just about everybody, except that is the Democrats in Washington, D.C. You know, it's more clear every day. They just don't get it. Washington politicians just aren't listening, and the American people know it. With nearly 15 million people unemployed and the Pelosi-led Congress poised to take a six-week paid vacation, the American people deserve better. Now, President Obama says things are getting better, but American families see things a little differently. The economic policies of this administration have failed. Last year, the Obama administration said that its trillion-dollar stimulus plan would create jobs immediately and keep unemployment below 8%. Today, unemployment remains near a heartbreaking 10%. And since the stimulus bill became law, our economy has lost about 3 million jobs. And if they haven't already done enough to wreck our recovery, Democrats in Washington are pushing more spending, more regulation, and right around the corner, more taxes. Democrats in Washington are now actually talking about embracing what would be the largest tax increase in American history. Let me say that again. After 18 months of runaway spending, bailouts, and takeovers, Washington Democrats are poised to allow the largest tax increase in American history to take effect next year. The American people deserve to know every income tax bracket will increase on January 1, 2011. Every single one. So if this year you receive a $1,000 per child tax credit, next year you'll get just $500 per child. If you run a small business and pay 35% in federal taxes, next year you'll have to pay nearly 40%. And if you own a family farm, you'll see death taxes rise from zero to 55% in a single year. Washington, D.C. doesn't tax too little. Washington, D.C. spends too much. I don't know anybody back in Indiana who thinks they pay too little in taxes. Only in Washington, D.C. would anyone believe that raising taxes creates jobs. The American people know we can't tax and spend and bail our way back to a growing economy. House Republicans oppose the Democrats' failed stimulus bill, their national energy tax, their government takeover of health care, and House Republicans will oppose this tax increase with everything we've got. Congress must take immediate action to prevent any tax increase on working families, small businesses, and family farms before next year. So why are we in this mess? Well, it's like I said before, Democrats just aren't listening to the American people. The good news is that after seeing so many important decisions made behind closed doors and so much money being funneled into backroom deals, the American people finally have a way in, an unambiguous seat at the table. It's called americaspeakingout.com. Now in its third month, the Republicans' America Speaking Out project is giving the American people a chance to share their ideas for building a more accountable government and a better country. Every day, thousands of potential solutions are being debated, discussed, and voted on. This week alone, Republican lawmakers initiated national discussions on ideas to prevent taxpayer dollars from being used to bail out European countries, to ensure that no new major federal regulation can be implemented without the approval of Congress, and debated making all legislation subject to a three-day mandatory public review so lawmakers will have to read the bills. With each of these dialogues, we're breathing new life into the founding principle that government governs best when it governs closest to the people. And we're forming a new path to prosperity that's built brick by brick on the hard work, innovation, entrepreneurship, and good ideas of the American people. Thanks for listening.